So one task that almost all professionals have is performance reports or some sort of uh, statement about the work that you've done or the, the, the work that you will be doing in your position. So I've made out a um, little template here where I'm gonna ask chat GPT to write out like a performance work statement and I'm gonna tell it you know, who I am, what division I work for in my company and you know, I'm gonna say in the last three months I helped a customer on a project to create a new 72 foot ladder, which will be sold in all their store locations. You know, I help with research and development on a new formula for a type of honey that tastes like hot sauce. And we're halfway, th halfway done with the instant cement formula project. And I'm also working on a project with Facebook ads, right? So just like a very broad, like um, thing that I'm doing at this, this company, right? So it's gonna go through and it's instantly gonna give, you know, uh, a performance work statement on you know what I did over the past three months you know and it says you know overall my contributions have been valuable and have helped drive the success of the widgets division so we can expand on that even more in a variety of different ways I'll be like can you make a job description for this type of job that I work this is so recruiting can find a placement for me in the next year. And so it's gonna take my performance work statement and then it's gonna go through and say, okay, what are the key responsibilities of this actual job, right? So it's breaking out and saying, hey, our company is seeking a driven and skilled individual to join the widgets division. Here's what you'll be doing for key responsibilities. You need to have a strong background in project management. And then I can come in here and say, oh, can you add that you need, I'll say like an education requirement, a master's in, um, in project management, or let's say um, like, uh, astrophysics because those two requirements are totally related in terms of education so it makes a lot of sense um, so it should go through and be like hey we um, and this is if it doesn't stall out right now because sometimes when it blinks for a little bit too long it may be about to stall out we may need to refresh it but once again it, it caught right up to it and it's just going right through here um, it's going through and saying what the key responsibilities are. We're getting basically what we got before, um, which is awesome. And we can take this and we can revise this to make it stronger. And let's see if it adds in the education here. Da, da, da. So it didn't actually um, put that in there. So we're gonna say uh, like, please add um, education. For this job, add. We'll say the applicant needs a master's degree. All right, cool. So, you know, I didn't catch that immediately, so maybe I didn't phrase it right. But, you know, on the second pass, I'm just going to go in and say, hey, um, you know, the applicant needs to have a master's degree in astrophysics or like it's not gonna work out to work at Acme Inc. in the widgets division. So let's see if it comes through and does it now. Usually the more specific you are, then um, the more it's gonna emphasize it. So if I say like, hey, knock that off, like don't do that anymore. I need you to add this information to what you just told me. It will do that. So you can see it put the master's degree requirement right here at the top above everything else. And also too, oh, and then it put it at the bottom. So like the way that I worded the requirement, yeah, I think I said uh, this applicant needs, right? So that keyword needs, I think that really fired off and, uh, and sort of really cued for the AI what I'm trying to get at. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to do some other stuff in the next video, so stay tuned for that.